Welcome, this is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay and I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Really happy to be here with you tonight and tonight's topic is actually going to be avocados for the second time today so I've been learning a lot more about avocados that I'd like to share with you. We encourage you to post the city, state and country that you're watching us from. We love to hear from you and if you like this video please share it with people and if you don't like this video please share it with people. We also encourage any questions you might have about mastering your own biochemistry. And some of the things I learned in my career, 15 years working as predominantly what is referred to as a bench pharmacist, working with anywhere between three to 800 patients a day, I would see one-on-one -on -one and consult with them, not only about, of course, their medications, but about other things. I can tell you this, most of these people seeking that kind of, medi that kind of uh, assistance, if they were dealing with a chronic condition, they became sicker and sicker. They did not become uh, healthier, and I saw them deteriorate. Short-term, acute usage of these medications definitely have a place and can do amazing things and do save lives, but what I was seeing on a daily was very disheartening. People give their power away, they give it to, i.e., the doctor or to a drug and they you know act like that's gonna save their lives and what we all know is what actually saves our lives is ourselves and the choices we make on a daily basis and that that's what really counts so I'm happy to be here and what I want you all again to know is I'm here as a resource in whatever capacity you need me and my goal is just to share the things that I've been blessed to learn through my training pharmacists go to school for eight years we study biochemistry in depth and we understand you know, the actual workings of what's happening in the body and I can tell you right now pharmaceutical agents do not promote your well-being. They actually do slow down the progression of healing. Long-term use again is very harmful. So when you're thinking about your body you want to think about what's coming in and what's going out. It's very important. And Nevertheless, tonight I wanted to talk a little bit more about avocados. I did do a show earlier today and we were discussing, you know, we did a nice recipe on avocados and if you didn't see that, please go back and review it. And I just, again, we were discussing how portable avocados are and what a great food source they are. So a lot of us living in the current American culture, we need, we need food on the fly and it needs to be nutrient dense food. And there really, there's three things that I love. There's avocados, there's apples, and there's walnuts. Those are my top uh, three go-tos personally. You could probably sub any nut. But avocado is a very dense, nutrient-packed food. And it's amazing. It's, it has a lot of fiber. It also has a lot of protein and also a lot of fat. And so when you eat one, you're going to get satiated. You're going to be satisfied. You're going to feel like you ate something versus... If you were to go to a McDonald's and you were to eat what was there, you're going to get satisfied briefly because food chemists have designed it to get you high. So it is going to hit your dopamine receptors and, and make you feel really like maybe you're satiated. But literally within an hour after eating that food, you're most likely going to be hungry again. And for those of you that have experienced that, please post below you know, anything you've had with fast food as far as if you've noticed that after you eat fast food, which actually isn't food, it's chemicals that are put and mixed and whipped in ways that make it look like food. After you eat fast food, you know, are you, do you find that you're, you're able to go four or five hours after eating it and not being hungry? So we want to hear from you about that. We definitely want to hear your comments about that. But an avocado, you're traveling with an avocado. Again, you're getting uh, fiber, protein, and a great fat profile and fats are so important they're so important for your skin every membrane of your cell every cell in your body so fats are very 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 important and also when you're thinking about avocados I want you to think about them as like a mini egg they're pretty much like a small egg the the nutrient density of a small egg so and again an amazingly portable food and I highly recommend you travel with it. it it travels well and you can take them anywhere and if you let's say you are traveling and it gets pretty dinged up and it's kind of mushed just cut it open and you can mash it into guacamole or you could put it into a blender and blend it up 
and also make it into another smoothie. It goes well with everything. You could put it in a salad dressing and blend it and it's going to add a lot of fat and satisfaction to the salad dressing that you're experimenting with. And uh, one other fact I learned today about the avocado that I love is that it's the oldest cultivated fruit known to man and it's uh, I think it's 8,000 years it's been cultivated which is just amazing so it's been around with us for a long time and definitely look forward to uh, eating an avocado so on that you all have a good night bye bye